Mm. You want to attract rich men. Mm. You want to attract men that are wealthy. Mm. That you know, if I say give me a hundred thousand now, mm. she's going mm. to give it to you, mm. right? But you don't want to sleep with this man. You just want his money. Yeah. Okay. So five, who sends a list to mm -hmm. and how you do it? There is a snake that is inserted in the vagina of the woman that wants to do this money ritual because it's a money ritual. The snake is put in such a way. I get a snake a head first, tail after. But when you do this, the tail needs to be inserted first. The head needs to be sticking out of the vagina so that the mice or the red that we are going to be feeding and you see the, the, the snake needs to eat. So the snake is between the, the woman's legs, right? With imiti as she see the makandela as what she see the amakandela amyama ngoba yiswalo then yiswalo. The snake is, is, is put in the vagina facing backwards and then there's a mice or a rat that will feed immunity you understand panege is immunity the whole point is that that rat or that mice must be inside the female but the multi that is fed is multi that's supposed to attract this man that is supposed to pull through that's why i said there's consequences in everything that you do in life, especially when you're doing something bad. And now, let's just say hypothetically, we've inserted the snake. We need to then feed the snake while it's inside your vagina, inside your body, with the mucho. <laughs> Or in young, aim chela yon, or would see, drink of our own getting a parrot. The snake already knows what are we performing here. I'm not a cow, bitch. Listen, I'm gonna make you sweat, make you dress, make you wet, wet, wet. I'm gonna make you sweat, baby, baby, kissing, and don't have the pressure. Vault unlocked. Hello, what is up you dazzling diamonds and the others, welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda Kyle and this is The Vault. Anyway you guys, let's jump straight into this video. Alrighty then you guys, and in this video we are going to be talking about U Gogo Maweni. Last week we spoke about Ugogo's Koteni, <clears throat> excuse me, and this week it is Gogo Maweni. Now, she has recently come out with a podcast that she hosts with her husband. Now, I must say, the husband as the second host is doing quite a good job. Like, he knows what he's doing when it comes to... I don't know, hosting a show, presenting a show. He's got it on lockdown. I'm going to give that to him. My husband, that guy, he really creeps me out. Like, he really creeps me out as much as his wife does, you know? It's like he finds her darkness, in my opinion. I mean, that is what she has portrayed to the world. Her darkness quite, it looks like he finds it really, really sexy. Like, he loves it. I don't... <laughs> I mean, there's an element of darkness that we all have. I mean, we are all fragmented beings, um, fragmented from one. And we all do possess an element of darkness and light, good and bad. Right, but those people, they really gravitate towards the darker, creepier things. You know, I saw a video of them on TikTok approaching another lady that was posing as Ugogoma when he's scamming people, which is very, very bad. Um, but he, like, he, he was so, he was in it. Like, you know, when they, were, uh, when they were confronting this lady, he's just like, you know, you know when um, there's like mass hysteria and umpagati beats up a person and stuff. He's like one of those people I feel like would be there in the front. I don't know why. That's just the vibes that he's giving, right? Yeah. 
But yeah, he seems to be a, quite a good um, second host on that show. This podcast, man, um, it's very, very dark. It's very, very dark. It's quite informative, I must say. Like, there's a lot that people are going to learn from watching this podcast. And I've watched all three episodes. And I feel like I'm going to continue to watch because I like to watch these creepy things. I, I want to know why these people are doing these things. And it's nice to know that the things that I've been speaking about in past videos are absolutely true. Because now it's coming from these bitches and warlocks, you know. And I was just saying it because that's how I viewed the situation. But, like, they're confirming it. So it's like, oh, wow, I was right. I was absolutely right. So I've been thinking. Yes, thinking. I've been watching and following this podcast um, by Dr. Mawini about Ugutwana. If there's ever anything you want to waste your time doing is watching that podcast. Why do I say that? A lot of people are up in arms thinking, Koko Mawini this, Koko Mawini this. Yeah, she's got her things. But this, Ukutwala, it is very important for every single person in South Africa, in the world, to watch it because she is making us aware of what happens around us. She is saving someone's life as we speak. Watch it with an open mind. Watch it with the whole thing. Knowledge is power. Our fellow sisters are going deeper, deep into this thing of falling into the hands of Amadota Atwele. Or others get themselves in these things without understanding the consequences, understanding the pros and cons. Money is good, yes. If you watch those podcasts and you listen to it, there is no way Lapo Kokomaweni Ati, it's good thing. Yeah, go for it, do it. She's saying that money, that life will cost you everything. Like I said before, nine times out of ten, I'm right. <laughs> Type of situation. So in this episode that I watched, episode three, they were speaking about Uktwala and all these things. Um, the slay queens and these rich sugar daddies. Um, the rituals that they have to do or what's actually really going on with these transactional relationships. Now, I've spoken about this a lot you know what i mean i feel so bad for these girls that find themselves in these situations and i understand that you find people like our Messiah and bougie right they will say to you i don't want to be role models to girls videos of hers um trending where she got uma voso and stuff and i came out not i mean if, if, I, if i'm harsh i'm harsh but the truth hurts the truth is the truth you know and it's not pretty it's just the same thing with this um witchcraft show um they spell it as witchcraft because it's like witchcraft if you understand you understand um we need to speak about these things and when i was 
people would say you were coming for saying bougie saying the things that you're saying but that wasn't the case it, it was just i think it was a teachable moment for a lot of people that don't do this don't do this because it's not all sunshine and roses and at the end of the day when these pe people promote these lifestyles that they have on the internet young girls and boys even if you don't want to be their role model young girls and boys do actually aspire to do these things because everybody wants a quick way out look at our government you know everybody wants a quick fix everybody wants money everybody wants a lavish lifestyle so when you are saying oh hang i got my voice my hand look at me people think it's so great and it's so nice and then you have people like my way in speaking about it now openly and saying that these girls that are getting on my uh, nine times out of ten they are sleeping with snakes and entities and monkeys you understand because when these men um procure you on the internet they, you're a thing you're like cattle when they acquire you procure you on the internet they already know what type of woman you are because when they're watching these videos and you're speaking about your mavosos, you're speaking about I need an allowance, I need this much, I need this much, they already know what type of woman you are. They already know that there's a price to you. They already know that the highest bidder is going to get the meat, right? So you're putting yourself out there. They are going to now um, so outsource you, source you out, whatever it is. And... They have been doing dark, creepy things. You're thinking that you're going home with this rich, wealthy man who's going to pay exorbitant amounts of money to, uh, for one night. You know the girls that um, prostitute themselves and they're selling for 50 rand on the side of the road. They're probably safer than the ones that are getting 100,000 rand per night. Because... The ones that are getting 100,000 rand for one night of shebang bang with this wealthy man, you're probably selling your soul. You're sleeping with snakes and different funny things. And that, those are the type of things that Maweni is talking about. But she's not talking about these things because she's just, oh, such a good Samaritan and she's going to warn everybody because she wants everybody to be safe and protected and have this knowledge. No, she's also promoting herself. She's promoting her business because she says that she does know how to do these spells and these things. She does know how to assist people and um, sh um, help them to tolerate so that they can make money. These people are actually downright bad people. They downright bad people. Because they know exactly what it is that they are doing. And from the jump, when they actually get into the darkness of their craft, which craft, they also have to sign a contract, basically. Once you're in, you're in forever. Have you ever seen these stories where people come out to talk about the shady, dark witchcraft things that they have done? And then they come to these channels or these pages asking people for help. How can I get out of the situation? Have you ever come across anyone that has said, I got out. I'm fine. Everything is perfectly fine now. Because touch is a move. Touch is a move. You will never return from that darkness. You will sell your soul. That, that game, you can't get back from. There are things that we can do in life and we pray and we repent and we ask God for forgiveness and we, we will be forgiven. But then there are some things that you know in your heart you shouldn't cross that line. You can't come back from that. You will never recover from that. And then when you perish, as a matter of fact, your family members will. You have to, you give to get. You're not just going to be taking the souls and lives of these people that you sleep with your family is also going to suffer because these entities they don't stick to the rules because now when you're going in there you don't know all the rules of the game you know what this sangoma gobela person is telling you they don't even give you the full story themselves themselves are intertwined and interlocked in contracts and that's why they keep on doing the things that they're doing. Because you ask yourself, why don't they just turn away the people that are doing the bad stuff? Why don't they just? They can't themselves. 
They've got a taste of the high life, the nice life, the glamorous life, the money. They have to continue to help the evil people do the evil things. And then let's not even try to front about it. When you go to the Indumbas and you go and you consult, you idiot, you stupid person, going to go consult, once you open that door, you can never close that door. Yes, I know, sure. mm. And if we're gonna keep entertaining you, so you end up saying, Mina, I'm glad you, you're sharing this with uh, the whole world. Uh, and then what went wrong to shine so I'm We are because being but I'm changing and abantu abangibona ukuthi ngiyahlanya bacoba ngokuthi ngikhulu nenciniso yabo and then why ngine indumba ezi6 and eloye ubuloyi uyiyeke ne because bona vele ngijelile ukuthi hayi you know nothing about ubuloyi nokulapha no it touches a move it's a forever thing and when you go there some people let's say a person this is what this is the point i wanted to make some people will go there with the intention of saving their lives I'm, uh, uh, i need a job i need this 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 right but then once they start to bully you and start to look at their bones and their stuff they do hint and nudge at oh but we could do this we could do this it's, you, it's your choice it's your choice by the way but you could go a little extra um you could go a step further and you know don't tell me they don't say those kind of things it's a business for them and then Nabu, like Marina was saying in this podcast that, oh, she was saying that she, um, there's a person that left a bad comment and she usually takes pictures of these people. Obviously, that's a threat to anyone. She's trying to tell people, don't say shit about me online, first of all, because I'm going to take your picture and I'm going to work on you. And she was saying that I'm going to use this person to feed my monkey or my whatever the, the hell she has, right? Because this person irritated her. And this person was saying that Maureen is going to go to hell. So she's like, you know what? Because you said this shit, you're going straight to hell. You're going straight to hell with me. Because now I'm going to feed you to my creatures. I'm going to do something to you because I have your picture. I tell my my, my, my assistants to, um, what's this, make copies of people's pictures. Apparently, allegedly, she has a whole wall of people's pictures. Oh, my God. Sure. Somebody took your picture to a someone to destroy your life. Now, in this world of social media, where we are gladly posting our pictures online and uploading to show events that are taking place in our lives, we have forgotten that the world that we are living in is very spiritual, which has made our enemies very easy to access us. They can simply download our picture and take it to a place that may destroy us if we are not prayerful. I mean, you're going to get everybody to feed your creature? You can't get everybody because some of us are prayer warriors. We, we pray. As much as they do their voodoo things, ah, Satan does, and we get down on our knees. And we say, Father, please, I was vielle. Cover us with the blood of the Lamb. Because these people are out here. And don't just cover us. Because we pray for, I pray for people. I pray for communities. And there are people out there i know this for a fact that are doing the same thing because we can see what's going on we can see all this darkness this dirt and isn't it crazy guys how these people up on my way in your soul they you can see they dark né? i don't know how many times i said this but it's, it's true you just look at them they can put on all the makeup all the tassels and all the stuff but they've got this dark element to them man they've got this grayness to them There's so much I know about her that can destroy even her marriage, but I'm flipping quiet because I'm not after her. I'm after what she said about my flipping son. Bitch, you went too far.
speaking about my son mina nawe asihlanga nendumbeni ngena ndumbeni ngena ndumbeni sibona ukuthi inja uba this life has no balance cotton i guess and i'm saying you coco moyne cotton and i'm born coco moyne that puppets like umbo pele and cotton and pets are kubo pele nge look booze that i'm on peg uba nozo win As much as that show, I think, in this time is educational. But what is the reason for that education? Because it's luring people in. People are ready to take a risk because people are tired of being poor. They are promoting themselves. They are promoting. Don't you think that these people go and consult with their little creatures to find out, should I start this podcast, should I not? Look at the other one, DJ now. Where is she going to go DJ in the dark of the night in the clubs? What do you think is going to be happening over there, guys? These people are going to drop their things. You think they don't pray about this to their things? Consult with their things and ask, oh, how is this going to go? How's it? You know, I've seen the clips of the other one DJing. What is she DJ? Even Mawen was mocking her online. Why does she actually DJ? Because I haven't seen her doing anything spectacular. Everybody makes fun of Zion Bougie, but nobody will dare make fun of her because she's a witch. And everybody's scared. And then she comes out and she outs herself to be fake. By saying other people are fake. But if you're saying it out of your mouth, it's what you experience. Because you had to go tap into the darkness and accept these things. I have spirits live inside of you. And I don't want to be that guy that comes out here and says that all these Sangoma people and all this traditional stuff is all bad. I think maybe there are some out there that have good intentions. Maybe they have good intentions, but in this day, in this age, with everybody trying to be popular and trying to get the money and trying to be the best Gomela, everybody wants to be the Beyonce Gomela. Everybody wants to be the Beyonce Sangoma. Everybody wants to be the it thing, have a show. Have a TikTok, have a this, have a that. The ones that are that are poor and that we don't know about in the dark, some of them are not even poor. That are healing people. You don't know about them. Honey, why have I never heard of one of these songs? Songs about no one who has a song of mine. And these ones that are out here on online on screens, these fashionable ones, these sexy ones. They make all of them look bad. All of my life, I've been afraid of these people. Like, my tools. Not afraid because I'm thinking, oh, they're going to do, anybody going to do nothing. And that's a promise from God. I know that to be true. Right? And I know that because, like the other one was saying, if you don't do these sprinkle, sprinkle things, why would they come and get you? You don't, you don't play around with those things, so why would they come and get you? Doesn't say it doesn't mean that they don't exist. Doesn't mean that people haven't tried. And maybe when we are not connecting with God the way that we should, maybe some of this stuff has worked here and there. But we always get back onto it. We always get back on our knees. And God saves us. He saves us from them. And they are afraid of God. They are very afraid of God, those people. They really are. On Ricky um church reality check. That lady was saying, the one that denounced Ubungoma, was saying that when she started with her Gobela, the Gobela was praising God, um, Bible this, Bible that. But the day that they went to the river or wherever they went, when they were doing their the, the witchcraft, and that lady started praising God, the Gobela was like, ah, shut up with your, with your nonsense and your God and your this and your that. It's like, huh? When, do you, when did you switch up? I thought they mix with God and they pray and they do all these things as well. 
Do you see how they dupe you? Then you're going to find people online that are going to get upset within the Kyle. Ah, oh, you're such a mental. You don't understand African spirituality. I understand a lot about spirituality. She doesn't believe that shit. I understand a lot about spirituality. And I know when something is wrong and when something is right. And I can see what these people are doing with all these podcasts and stuff. They are pushing this agenda. And they are promoting their dark work. Because there are people out there that are desperate. Even if you can hear how people are sleeping with monkeys and you have to put a snake in your vajayjay and all these things. Marini was saying that once you go in, there's no going back. You have to give to get. You are playing. You as the person that's going to go consult and get these things. You are playing with your life. She's telling you that. That's why I'm saying there's an element of education. But why is she doing that? There is always an agenda with people like that. It's not just clear cut. It can never be. It can never be. Take it as in there is an element of education, but it's teaching you of what not to do. Don't go down that dark path. Don't step into those places because you are coming into agreement and therefore you are susceptible to becoming a witch. To becoming those people, those very people that you are consulting with, you think they're saving you. They are watching you and reading you and these demons are telling them about your future and stuff. You could become one of their zombies. Because didn't the other one say that they, they, they say that they're helping you, but at the same time, they're actually causing a bigger problem so you can keep coming back. What happens when you stop coming back? And they need to now feed their pets, like Oma Wainu was saying. She's going to feed that other lady in the comment section to her, to her monkeys and stuff. Don't you think that when, once they have all this information about you, once you, you have come into agreement with um, their things, they cannot turn you into umkovu? And why is it that these people claim to be able to make you a millionaire, billionaire, and have all these things? And yet they, 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 they're not at that level either. What the hell is actually going on? Pyramid scheme vibes. Give me vibes. Witchcraft and the dark side is, is so bad. It's a trick. Satan is going to trick you. He's going to tr It's a trick. He can perform all these little stunts and tricks. But it's all a trick. He's telling me about snakes that are vomiting money. Come on, man. I know that we're in the matrix, but like, wow. Someone comes in to consult with 50,000. You come in and you say you also want money. Then they say that the snake um, vomited the money. Can't is that other guy's 50,000? And are you going to pay 100,000? The pyramid scheme just keeps going and going. It's tricks. But then you do, you will now have these dark energies and entities attached to you for life, your family. You're going to see these apparitions. You're going to see these creatures with your own eyes. How many of you have opened your third eye and you started to see some shit? Put your hand up. I've never been ever and I never will go consult anything. Anything that I practiced that was spiritual, I did on my, by myself. I was self-taught, whatever. Um, raising the kundalini, the meditation. Going into the dark, quiet space, yoga, all these things. That's what, uh, that's what I was doing. Opening your third eye. So when we warn you about these things, I feel like God put us, some of us, in those positions and in those spaces to experience these things and open up some of these things to teach you guys not to do it. Because now there's these ones that are teaching you guys how to do it. You can never go back once you go black. And I'm not talking about the D or the V. I'm talking about the we. The, the, the W, the witches, the dark side. These people are playing games. They're on mainstream media. They're on the internet. The internet is even faster. They have their own part. Where are the laws against these things? But there won't be any laws because even the people in governments and in high places are dabbling in the witchcraft. Y'all think that the Illuminati, Illuminati, all these things, it's all fake. Nah, but they, basically, they're consulting Amasango. But the people in America, they do the same shit. 
It's everywhere. Why do you think they come to Africa? Africa, Africa. They also want to acquire these powers. Look at that other guy. The one that Pusha was talking about. Nana. Is it Nana Coco? Whatever that guy's name. Did you Have you seen that guy? He looks so grimy. He looks gray. He literally, I told you, this part one in Zila, they look, they have a tinge of grayness. Why isn't that he's he's living in a mansion in gold and stuff? They have to live in they have to live in caves and darkness, and that's why these people have um they have nice houses some of them, but then they have ndumbas, which are little shacks with little huts and stuff. They have to be in the dark in those little things. Why? Because that's where the dark spirits want to reside. In cold, dark spaces. <laughs> it's like caves, guys. Come on. And I see some of you guys. <sighs> I, I, I said in my other video that I would take Ukoko's Kotene over Omaweni any day. But I wouldn't just take her. Because she's creepy as well. Right? But then I see some content creators out here that I even, I like them. And some of you guys even. And you're just like, ah, I mean, I'm Kotene, I love this lady. She's everything. I'm just like, ish. Maybe I couldn't even become your acquaintance because oh, what do you mean? These people are evil. They tell you that they're evil. They tell you they've done dark things. They tell you that they help people that kill people in Gabi. That's bad. It's murder. These Ngabi people also think that if they go to these people, they'll be saved. After they'll, they'll just, you know, they'll be covered. Obviously, they're going to be covered by the dark spirits. But when they die... You think that God is going to forget about that shit? He's not going to forget about it. It doesn't work that way. They don't tell you what's going to happen in the afterlife. You've got to become a Mkovu as well and roam the streets. These are the spirits. These spirits that are not resting. It's them. And you're going to end up work, working for that same Inyanga Okobela that you consulted. Now you're the zombie. You can't rest. Your soul won't rest. And... It's so crazy. Maweni is saying how she couldn't wait to perish so that she can go to the dark side and become a zombie, a mkovu, a spirit that's doing dark things and she's going to eliminate people. How do you sit at a table with these people? How do you do that? How? What is wrong with you? How do you, as a normal person, we see you as a normal content creator, some of you have said, I respect Tuzu's Kote and I respect them. I, I, I you love these people. I won't sit with you. I won't. I won't. Because how can you say that and you know that this person has helped in Gabi? You know that this person is telling you, I'm an accomplice. I'm an accomplice to this crime. And you're just okay with that. That's why some of you are okay with people like Abu Musaka Awula. So, you're just okay with it. You're all just, just okay with it. It's so scary. It's disgusting. And then you want to come for me and say, ah, African spirituality. It's bad. Until it happens to your family member, then it's going to be a different story, ne? You're not going to respect those people anymore, are you? No. No, 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 no. It's bad. It's bad. Bad is bad. I jiggled. Sis, I can't even. It's scary. So as much as that show is educational, what are they teaching you to go and do? Because once you start, if you don't have the discernment, or you're not like me, let me put it that way, to see the bullshit for the bullshit and call it out for what it is, because he got that end. You're going to watch those videos, those podcasts, and say, ah, it didn't sound that bad. I could try it out. If 
fine touches and move, but I'm gonna have a damn good life. You're not. Some of these sangomas, their kids are not doing okay. Uh, there's another one I won't mention names. Both of her kids, they are not okay. And like you saw, why put up a why? I understand. Life happens. Life happens. But none of these people's everything is perfect. Ask yourselves why. And a why by Ninzila. Why do they look navy grey? Because they dark. Even if the other one, this one, this one is light skinned, they've got a darkness. There's just the spice, man. Ish, the like nutty ash. Because all of them bath in ashes. No, guys, you need to really be careful out there. And you need to pray to God. And you need to get your house in order. Because the darkness is here and it's spreading like wildfire. They are doing the work of the dark one and the dark kingdom. Don't fall into these traps. And pray when you're watching these shows. Don't just watch them because you're ah, this is so exciting. It's entertainment. No, pray about it. So these things don't latch onto you because they also bewitch their little shows and stuff. Some of us are watching to learn and to see. And we ask God for discernment before we do. So do the same thing. Protect yourself with the word of the Lord. There's nothing else you can bath with that is going to save you but Christ himself. And I believe in God with every fiber of my being. Because he has shown me that he's real. I would rather be poor until the day I die. Before I cross over into the darkness or before I don't have faith in God. I would rather die poor. You'll never see me coming out here, bread. I've got this, I've got that, I've got no. As far as you know, I'm poor as hell. And I'm fine with that. It, it's no skin off my back. Because this world is bad. It's good. There's good things about it, obviously. God's things are good things. But people corrupt it. They corrupt God's work. God's world. God's creatures, God's herbs, these herbs that they are using, they have a better purpose than what they are manipulating them to be. It's like the Nephilim, when they came down and they mixed with human beings, then they started to mix the animals and started making all these hybrids and all these creepy things. People are not supposed to be coming out with defects and all these things and all these weird creatures in the seas. Some of them we don't even know of. This is not supposed to be like that. But people manipulate God's things. And that's how we, we've ended up here. People are busy bestiality. Did you see the, the, the video of the guy with the horse? And the lady with the fish? And the guy with the chicken? Sis! People are doing creepy things out here. And it's not right. Right? Anyway, you guys, watch that show at your own risk. Ask God for discernment. Ask him if you should be watching it. And what are your reasons for watching it? Ask yourself that question as well. What are your reasons for watching that show? Be careful, guys. Your eyes are the windows to your soul. What you take in with these eyes. Yes, sis. Don't let it be the end of you. And don't be corrupted by these people or manipulated by their spouse because they are dark and they are navy grey. They are navy grey. You can see it. They look navy grey. Because they're dark. Right? And I'm not talking about dark in complexion. I'm talking about... You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, if you guys haven't already, please do like, share and subscribe to this channel, guys. And don't forget to please subscribe. Like, share and subscribe. Did I say that? I didn't say that. And please do donate to the Vault Unlocked. I will highly appreciate it. Let's get where we wanted to be in the year 2024. We have to do amazing big things. And I'm very excited for what's to come, right? Um, yeah. Take care of yourself. Stay prayed up. And don't forget to get your house in order. These are those times. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.